Okay. Let me see it. a lot of work i'm very very proud of you but you have not noticed some of the um, notes and most of them are the last notes of the measure you are a little bit hurrying up to the next measure and you are not noticing that notes are different and what we are gonna do with you right now we are going to play only right here for now, okay? Because most of the wrong notes are in the, some on the left hand, but we are going to correct right now only right hand notes, okay? Only right hand notes. But let's slow down so you can actually see all the notes. And uh, remember that downbeat, the first note is a little bit going, uh, we, we prepare our hand, don't lift off. Prepare up, take a breath, and then, Oops, finger shape. right? Two going to three. Two going to three. everywhere this note the same as this but now you see that this is not this right they are different yes yes so before you play like that from here and going on. C sharp. D. 
C sharp. Great. No, three, four. Again. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, two. Strong, strong. playing weak instead of C. Let's try again from here. Corrected these two notes. Now, after this part, look carefully this measure. Ta, they are the same. Ta, ra, ta, ta, tim, bum. But now look, is the next measure is the same in both parts or different? Different. What's different? This is C. This is C. But you are continuing the same. You are not seeing this. This is no sharp. No sharp. Okay? okay. So let's try to use this part from here. Slowly. So you try to use the same fingers every time. Don't change fingers. If it starts with one, start with this one. you from here again so these are all the notes d c d and then back to c so they're all white keys Exactly the same, lifting our hand after the group of 16th notes. Not here, not here, but always right here, always the same way. Watch me. Lift and then different character. Watch me. Then 16th notes. Boom. It sounded like accent. Oh, 
had a few wrong notes let's check we start from C then we go to C sharp then we go to D and we stay in right let's try writing it what was this note good so these two measures are the same except this last note these last notes are different f and g let's try these two measures f g and then we start playing the same thing as pattern and count one two three four one two three four one two so one goes on one Okay, let's try because we didn't play enough notes here. So when we write one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. Okay. So make sure you count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Okay. Good. Now, left hand most of the time was correct, unless I forgot something, except this last line, this F choke note. So let's figure out how to play them. Do you, can you support me? You're just playing. But you slightly, slightly. And then we don't have all three sharps. We have only two sharps here. Yes. So and lightly. to do first of all practice short sections don't play entire piece like practice first for four measures and make sure you don't make any mistakes then second four measures then so on then you can play let's mark each section we'll call this part part a but this part will be part b so we, we really played this part A and this part B. Yeah, no, this is part B. That's where it starts. And then we go back to part A. And it's exactly the same, except a little coda. Do you know what coda no. means? Coda is an ending. It's like 
the exact translation is like a tail. You know, there is a dog and there is a little tail. So, Koda is a little tail. Yes. The eye movement like this. Yes. A little relax your hands here. Change and relax. Relax. Good job. Not yet, sweetie. Pedal will be much later when we learn the entire piece, then we'll talk about pedal. What you already forgot, and we talked with you about it, there are three flats. It's a C minor. C minor. Remember, we even played the C minor scale with you. Here's C major, all white keys. C minor scale has three black keys. Three. B flat, B flat, and A flat. If we have harmonic, we remove this B flat. In melodic, we play this in natural back. The C minor sounds sad, right? This is major. So they go quite slowly. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. Yes. No, it sounds. It doesn't sound uh, like C minor. This is a natural, actually. No, we don't have C sharp. So what are we missing here? Yes. And listen to the sound. You know what? It doesn't sound like major or minor, does it? We call it diminished. Kind of diminished. smaller. Diminished chord. It's kind of very worrisome. Right? It's not... Here's a minor chord. Here's a major chord. This one is diminished. Here we go. Right? Right. Yes. So that's what you forget here. E flat. Let's try from here one more time. change here now let's take a look here we have c and a natural right here let's let's play and hold this chord c and a natural now think how we are gonna make this we are gonna have two flats let's make a flat no you are playing c sharp sweetie what would be flat from c where do you go from A to make A flat? You are going down, right? It's the yeah. same C flat. C flat has to go down. Because this is C sharp, right? Right. Right. And this is C flat. Yes. So, let's try one more time from here and notice everything. Corrected a lot of notes, right? Now, this is a hard thing. Left hand, 
weekly almost without break. We don't do like that. There, there are no breaks. about it C minor C minor C major this note is the one that makes major turn into minor in the triad okay and you are supposed to start in yes you're supposed to start in C minor okay no, no breaks no breaks no too 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 fast Jerry. Listen to each chord and then listen to no break, just shifting, uh, switching. about the rest of it for now we'll, we'll work on this there is enough to correct now i'd like to talk to you a little bit more about the right hand it's very singing and very flowy and it's actually mezzo forte so you shouldn't left hand will be very quiet and long but right hand should be deep and very expressive oh, oh four right four sing don't push the last note too much his country and misses his mother why is he sad and his love sad doesn't have to be soft too soft we can express our sad feelings not being too quiet too sad too too soft okay 
Okay, now the hard thing, how to play left hand softly because this is just a background, this is just an accompaniment, while right hand is not as, you're gonna play major again. Yes, you did very good, but left hand sounded staccato. Mm -hmm. So let me show you uh, how to feel it really, really well. First, we'll play right, no uh, right hand note C, and then gently. So we'll, we'll separate them a little bit. We'll listen to the deep right hand, and then gentle and long left hand. And then we'll try together feeling the same thing. So let's try right hand. Prepare your left hand. Don't play it yet. Don't play it yet. I'll help you. Two. No, no, no. Much quieter. Good job. Again. Two. Excellent. Now try together. Beautiful. But long. Long. Good job. Two. Excellent. Long. Long. Right hand deep. Together. Excellent. You did great. Children usually have lots of trouble with that, but you did it right there. <laughs> okay, next. So I'll write down Ivan. Ivan flats, right? Flats. Three flats. Yes. Left hand. Long notes. Long notes. Right hand. Deep. Deep. Express. What do we want to play next? Switches. You didn't work. You can work together and when it gets a little bit easier, you'll start and when you don't spend as much time on other pieces. I'd like you to start it sooner rather than later because it's very long. No, sorry. Slowly and strongly. Relax your fist. each other you are going to opposite direction so let's play d flat d flat what is it in the number right c c c flat where is going to be c flat yes exactly this is c flat you like to play c sharp instead of c flat c c sharp C flat. They are around. C sharp going up. Flat goes down. Okay, so let's try. Do, dim. And the same is going to happen. Ah, no, it's not the same. Do, five, six, one, two, three, four. Whoops, you played sharp again. <laughs> again. Now 
Belgian C flat. Yes. Finger numbers. Do, do, B flat. One, two, two, three, and up, two, three, four. This is very similar. We can continue. Do, 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 strong, strong, each finger. Do, with letters so we'll work on part a right now hand separately let's try left hand we stop here uh, where here. you stop here but you can go ahead a little bit part, don't worry i see part a is ending here yeah part a ends right here where is this different key signature comes okay let's try left hand and Part B goes up to here. Yeah, this is part B ends and then part A starts here. And part A ends. And it A. also has a little coda. Okay. Yeah, this is a little coda. See the same musical form like a joke. Why is there a writing here? It says poco meno mosso, which means a little slower. Which is a little slower. Yeah, the piece is very fast, but this part will sound a little slower. I'll try to find some good recordings of this piece so you can listen to. Let's try left hand, Julie. Okay. These are low notes. 
So it's gonna be, can you count from here to figure out this note? And is this note up under the first ledger line, right? First ledger line. Then let's go down. S, G, A, A flat. A flat. You're right. You're a very smart boy. But it's very low. It's the lowest A flat on the piano. It's shorter. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Long. One, two, three. Back to D flat, right? One. It's, no, sorry. It's E flat. I'm sorry. What is the scale? <laughs> it will be the end of A flat major. What is the beginning of E flat major? really important I just thought you would remember okay left hand three two one boom short boom down E flat back boom the same boom no. A flat E flat A flat the same two measures Beginning. 
here, what I don't like is the scale. You're kind of pushing too much. So I want you to think that we play the whole scale on one bow. And fingers are actually light here. There are many, many notes, so it, they will not sound too soft. You shouldn't worry about it. It makes them light. And try to do that toward G. Let's try that again. a little bit some and I come back here. Okay, let's try to see. So let's try to, let's forget about this G. We'll play C. Now reach out to G without turning your thing. to sing. Align your thing like you're playing fourth finger, see? And then just stretch a little bit thumb and come back to this note. So your hand will not have to go side to side every time because that's what makes it too bumpy and harsh. Let's try again. Let's play only fourth. That's good. And that's a little bit too by yourself. down and up. Thank you. 